how to do a three point calibration for pH on the Myron Ultrameter 2. Before we begin, we need to make sure that we have all of the necessary materials. First of all, we need our meter and we need three pH buffer solutions. We need an acidic solution with a pH of four, a neutral solution with a pH of seven, and finally, we need a basic solution with a pH of 10. So to start the calibration process, we're going to open the well on our meter and we're going to begin with that neutral solution with pH 7. We're going to fill the well of the meter three times and empty the solution. This is called a triple rinse. Once we finish the triple rinse, we can fill the wells with that same neutral solution and push the pH button on our meter. At this point in time, if our meter displays a pH of 7.00, we don't need to calibrate. Right now, my meter displays a pH of 7.15, so I need to complete the calibration process. I'm going to do this by pushing that calibration button on my meter and using the up and down arrows to adjust the display until it reads 7.00. When the display reads 7.00, I'm going to push the calibration button again. At this point, my meter is requesting the acidic and basic solutions to continue the three-point calibration. So I'm going to empty that neutral solution from my meter and I can begin with either of the acidic or basic solutions. I'm going to start with the acidic solution. So I need to triple rinse again with that new solution. One, two, three times. After the triple rinse, I'm going to use that same solution to fill both wells. And I'm going to adjust the meter using those arrows until the display reads 4.00 since I began with my pH 4 solution. Once it reads 4.00, I'll push the calibration button and my meter is requesting the final solution, the basic solution. So I can empty that solution from my meter and use my last solution and do the triple rinse once more. One, two, three. After the rinse, I'm going to fill the wells with that same solution and I'm going to use the up and down arrows to adjust it until it says 10.00 since this was my basic solution with a pH of 10. Once my meter displays a pH of 10.00, I'm going to push the calibration button one more time and I can empty the wells of that last solution. At this point in time, your meter is calibrated for pH and you can use it to measure this parameter in the field. One last thing to remember, when storing your Myron, you want to make sure that your well is filled with Myron storage solution. Thanks for watching.